And welcome back to Quantum Reflex Analysis Update. I'm Dr. Noah, your host, and this is a Journal of American Medical Association, March 2010. Healthy people should not take aspirin to ward off health attacks. Now, we've talked about this on my TV show. I've lectured about this, is that this whole notion in terms of taking a drug that's going to ward off you know, certain types of heart attacks is just a joke. And aspirin, part of what's called non strong anti-inflammatory groups, kills more people than AIDS, that's correct. That was published in the New England Journal of Medicine article. And how many kids are killed every year because of a, a, a particular type of, you know, genetic type of problem uh, with aspirin? Yes, a thousand kids, uh, you know. So Toyota gets busted for 37 people dying. You know, aspirin is okay if it kills a thousand kids a day. So in this study in JAMA, what's going to show that, that uh, aspirin increases the likelihood of major bleeding in the brain, stomach, and elsewhere in the body. And the experts, yeah, that's right, the real drug doctors that know what they're talking about, warned that the benefits must be weighed against the risk, and the risks are greater than the benefits. And this was uh, from Scotland, published in, once again, the Journal of American Medical Association, a very prestigious drug journal. And they actually used a dubbing pill, so we had a placebo effect. And that's what they found, that people on aspirin which were, what, 200% more likely to suffer from bleeding. Uh, so that's not a good thing. No one wants 200% of bleeding anywhere. So that's what you want to be careful for in terms of not being fooled by, you know, that you can be healthy by taking a drug. Yeah, you need to exercise, sleep right, uh, you know, basically, you know, eat good foods, do type of things that really bring health and vitality, just like Bob, Dr. Bob Marshall always talks about. So I'll talk to you soon. Be healthy, happy, and prosperous.